where you can have different engaging activities for students to get to know people from their community more. Okay. And on down you have a study area, you can book rooms, you can, uh, allow, uh, they allot rooms to the students who book in advance and you can come here and study during your uh, free hours. Okay. Got and it. this is a stage where like if campus is hosting any events, it'll take place here with the DJ and everything. That's the stage. Yeah. yeah. So a very typical visa question is, tell me something unique about your university. And this is something a lot of you struggle with. So this video, we're going to explore Cal State LA and we'll try and find unique points about the university which you can use for your visa interview. So let's go. So we are on our way to CSU LA and uh, this is the metro line. This is the starting point. It's going to take about one hour, right? So let's go. I think the metro station is quite close to the university. So one thing which we get asked a lot, mm. and I think I had discussed with you also when we did that interview, visa mm. interview preparation, is about student clubs. Yeah, student right? clubs, yeah. So what kind of so student I'm clubs actually, are here? And I'm actually vice president of Mars Club, oh, that wow. is Marketing and Analytics Research Society. Uh, and uh, you have many different types of clubs. Uh, what I've been interested in, because I'm in business area, uh, marketing and okay. um, research clubs, and there's a astronomy club. You can actually I've seen people come out with uh, telescopes and uh, gay that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's easy to get into clubs, and there are many different kinds of clubs. Yeah. So how is the general like? What do you think? Like, are they really useful? Have they like? Uh, they are really used. You? Maybe uh, if you stay in marketing clubs, mm -hmm. like one I've been. I mean, uh, it will give you a network uh, to or like connections with the successful alumni or like uh, connect you with good professors. Right. So every uh, club has a uh, mentor, as a prof uh, professor as a mentor. So I think they will be pretty well uh, connected with industry professionals or like uh, successful alumni. So they can con they can help you get connected to them. And you meet a lot of students over there who share the same interest. So from there, you can get connections to for your career growth or anything. So it's good to be part of. Yeah, it's very good. I think California universities will have more student clubs, right? Yeah. Come. This yeah, this is the normal level. Of normal class. level, okay. So it's quite a um, vibrant campus, I would yeah. say. A lot of people around that. This is, a, this is, I say, the maximum, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it can go down on holidays, it's Fridays. Not many classes will take place. And since it's the beginning, like it's just fall. Yeah. So were there any events, specific events? Yeah. For, the there beginning? will be orientations, and we okay. actually had City of Orgs. Mm -hmm. So it is like a main walkway filled with all the clubs that are that are there in the university. So people, you students can go up, and go there, and then sign there. Uh, okay. Yeah. I get registered, basically. Yeah, I get registered. Yeah. Students who come here prefer to stay off campus. Yeah, most But you are staying do. in the dorm. Yeah, yeah. What, are, what is the reason for that? Was so, it like your parents felt? No, uh, actually, uh, I always, uh, I wanted to get to know people. I, I, I like that living on campus and having that uh, college experience. So, and I came to uh, US from India to make different, like get, get good exposure and everything. So I chose to stay in dorms and it's actually pretty good. Uh, comparatively, the, uh, on the budget side and the um, rent and utilities and everything, it almost matches up, but oh, okay. it's more on the expense side, but it's still fine. But uh, the commute, you get, uh, uh, you don't have to commute to college. If you're doing a part-time on campus, it'll be very easy to just go back and mm -hmm. one of the classes are, as I'm doing masters, I only have three classes per week. Right. So whenever my class is done, I can just go back to my dorm. So I felt it is a bit easier. But how, is it more expensive? Must yeah, be, right? It is. Um, <laughs> me and my friend, we calculated the budget. It was like around $300 more. Okay. That is like the South Village cafeteria. It's actually oh, wow. a pretty new building. This is huge. Yeah. This is, these, these are Tower 1, Tower 2, Tower 3. 
and then this is the South Village cafeteria, and then you do have a South Village cafe market. When you say so South you can Village, you mean like for undergrad? Yeah. Or? So the name okay. of these building is called South Village area. So it has so, classes. No, 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 no. Okay. The dorms. Dorm oh, this area. is only the dorm. Oh, oh wow. Okay. And then the underneath, you can see the glass one. Yeah. That is uh, the cafeteria. Okay. So this looks new. Yeah. This, right? this is a new building. Uh, okay. And you see that one. Those are the lobbies. Mm -hmm. You can watch movie together. The right. hangout area, the lounges, and most people hang out uh, the near the green circle. You see the green lawn. Yeah. And this side we have the. This side is the smaller apartments for uh, peop uh, for students about 21. Okay. They can stay over here. These are the independent houses, and okay. uh, you can opt to stay two per room, three per room. So it's for the older. Yeah, older people. Okay. Tw about 21 can opt to choose here. So this is the sports area. There is running, there's basketball, football, and there's a swimming mm -hmm. pool somewhere nearby. <laughs> yeah. How often do you see games here? Uh, the matches? Yeah. Uh, yeah, every alternate day or something, but uh, I only come here twice. Twice, okay. Do they have like any sport they're more focused or more passionate about? Uh, no, football only. Football. Yeah. You can see tennis over there. Yeah. yeah. And actually, the background all, it's all those mountains, right? Yeah, Which but is like it's covered with fog. It's covered with it fog. Like, it is actually really pretty scenic uh, mm, place. Yeah. Right. I've seen jobs about re being a uh, post for research assistants, mm -hmm. quite common, but. Okay. Uh, not sure about how much it is there. So you're saying campus jobs are easy to get? You just need to start in yeah, advance? Yeah, you just need to start in advance. It, it, it is pretty easy to get. This is so just student assistance. So is there like a portal? How do you apply? Yeah, handshake these? portal. There's okay. a, you will need to create a login ID and password mm -hmm. and then it will show you job jobs on campus, off campus, around LA. Okay. And even now in different states as well. But you as a student can only apply to these? On campus jobs. Yeah. Right? So, somebody like who gets an admit, mm. even before they reach campus, they can, they can apply. Yeah. They can apply mm. and you just start need the to send a good tailored resume. Okay. What all do you need? A and good then, resume? And then they'll ask for a student employee application. That is, you put in your schedule of okay. the classes, like when you're free, what is your work? You must have uh, enrolled for your classes before coming to. Mm -hmm. campus right right so just put in your class schedule and uh, and previous work experience they'll ask for the okay. resume things in there as well that's it okay thank yeah. you so much <laughs> yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. so happy to meet you yeah, like yeah. and thank you so much for taking out the time <laughs> yeah i'm glad yeah. you reached out to me too <laughs>